giving good feedback is very hard because often what will happen is someone will give you a description of what you need to do. Or excuse me, I should say a prescription of what you need to do. They will say, hmm, I read the first chapter of your book. You really need to have a stronger motivation for the main character, and I really think that there needs to be some way to increase the tension there. Right? They're trying to give you a directive. Never listen to directives, ever, ever. And if you're giving feedback, don't give directives. If you think that what Blizzard did with a set is problematic, don't say, you know, these sets, they're not good. What they need to do is blah and blah and blah. You're, you're giving bad feedback. It's useless feedback. It's irrelevant. It's incorrect. It's terrible. It's bad. It is the equivalent bad of if someone is crying and you say, well, okay, the thing you need to do is to figure out how to stop crying. I'm, I'm good at reassurance, right? That's not, that's not how you do it, right? The, the prescription of here's what you need to do, not relevant. So if you're giving feedback, don't do that. And if you're hearing feedback, don't read into the suggestion. The description and the core cause is the important thing. The description and the core cause is the important thing. So for instance, if I read the first book, or the first chapter of your book, instead of saying the main character needs a stronger motivation and there needs to be more tension, I might say something like, I didn't really understand what the main character's motivation was. I, I felt like he was just kind of hanging out in the coffee shop and just went outside and followed that girl for no no reason. I didn't I didn't see why he was following her. I didn't understand that. And also I didn't feel any stress or tension there at all. These types of things are useful because the main the, the author might say, "Ah, that's right. I didn't want you to see the motivation in the first chapter." Correct. That's good. That makes sense. Or, "Ah, yes." I didn't want there to be any sort of tension because I want this to be sort of weird and confusing. That's part of my goal. But man, Sean also said that he was bored. I don't want him to be bored. I don't want him to know the motivation. I don't want him to actually feel tension. I want him to feel confused, maybe a little creeped out. What could make him feel not bored? Maybe I creep him out. Maybe I make the, 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 the viewpoint character a little odd and creepy. So Sean's just with morbid curiosity turning the page. By giving a description of the reaction, the creator, in this case the author of the book, or you know the designer of the game, or the director of the film, by, by hearing the reaction, can then take that reaction and filter that through the actual goals that they have established through their no doubt hundreds of hours of effort on this thing or thousands or tens of thousands or whatever it is. The, the, the flip side is also true in which if you're receiving a lot of like you need to change this, 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 stop and try to say what's that core source? What's really going on? So if someone said hey your game project, you need to change the design. I don't like this, I don't like this, I don't like this, I don't like this. First, again, take some time, step away, calm yourself down, and then try to go, okay, what's really going on? They said that they need to change the combat mechanics, you need to change the dialogue, you need to change this. Those are suggestions of what to do, but if you go, hmm, what they're really saying is that the combat is not engaging. Why is this? There's no choice? There's not, it's not visceral enough? Is it the art style? And if you start to get to that core of what you think they're trying to get at, the motivation, the reason, this is a much easier way to approach a creative process or, a, or to do creative problem solving. You can then go, huh, you know what? After everything they've said, they're real, it's really about the combat. They're suggesting that we change the combat, that we add these sorts of VFX in there, and really it's just about the, combat's not being, or the combat not being fun. And you know what, they're right. The combat is not very fun. So, you know, I'm going to do a version of the changes they suggested, but, you know, I have some ideas of how I can make combat more fun. And then all of a sudden, because you've identified this core issue, you are no longer a, a slave to the wishes of someone else. You're no longer filling in a checklist that was created by someone else. You're working on a problem that you agree with. And that is both important for your motivation and important for your expression in the creative tasks that you can then say, okay, I am trying to work on the same problem you're suggesting that I work on and I'm gonna take your suggestion into account, but I have some things that might see that I think 
will contribute to. And I think that that's a big motivator. Now, let me let me just note that suppose you're just in a situation where someone's saying you must do these 10 things and it is a checklist, do it. You have no say, you must deliver these or we're gonna stop funding your company. At that point, I think it's important to understand where you do and where you don't have control. Um, I know of people that have had similar work hardships where they were told, you gotta do this, and that is exactly what you have to do for the next three months. And I, I heard my friend say this and I was like, oh, oh, that must be so horrible. But can you do this? Can you do this? Can you do this? And my friend, my friend just went, you know what? I'm just going to do that. Showed up at nine, left at five, did exactly that. And in that time developed all the outside of work things, got into cooking again started looking for new career opportunities and fantasizing about them and getting excited about them. Basically took the situation and made some lemonade. So if you were in the situation where you got hard feedback and you asked the question, how would you deal with it? I'll try to get to the heart of the problem. I would make sure I make myself feel good. I would think past the project, say, what does this thing do to me? Maybe I just think past this, uh, you know, if I'm getting, if my hand is forced, these sorts of things. I like to work, I like to get things done, I like to crush things, um, and that's where I sort of summon the optimism from.